Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about designing clamps or hold downs to use with your Shipoko CNC machine. So in one of the last videos, I showed you how you could uh, mill holes and put threaded inserts into the waste board. But now we need to talk about what we're actually threading into those. So we're going to be designing clamps, probably more specifically hold downs. I think that's what they call them. And the ones I'm designing look a little bit like everybody else's, I think. I think this is a pretty common project to do. Um, but basically, that's, that's an awful drawing. But uh, it's a flat piece of stock. You put a pocket in the middle here that goes all the way through. And that's for this bolt to sit into. So you have a, I have a bolt, a threaded bolt here that's quarter 20 to match the threads of the threaded inserts I put in the table. That goes in. And then what I'm also doing uh, is I'm making another insert or pocket here, and that's for this washer to sit in. So it'll kind of sit through this when it's done. So I'm using some stock that's actually uh, a cheap plastic, I think probably HDPE uh, cutting board that I found on Closeout. So I want to make these, I think let's call this 40 millimeters wide and 120 millimeters tall. So then we need to sort out uh, the pockets for the bolt, the full pocket that goes all the way through, and then the pocket for the insert for the washer. So I think for the bolt, we'll look here. Uh, these are quarter 20, like I mentioned. I'm trying to do everything in metric these days because even though carbide create will allow you to convert between standard and metric, you do lose some accuracy there. So these look like they're about six millimeters. I'm gonna call it seven millimeters to give me some room. And then we have the washer, which comes in at here over 25 millimeters. So I will call that 26. Again, these don't have to be perfect. Um, so there you have it. So Enough talk, let's go to Carbide Create and design this. Okay, so here we are in Carbide Create. So the first thing we have to do as always is go in here and tell it about our stock. So the usable cutting area of the this plastic cutting board I'm using for this is about 10 by seven. Um, I will convert it to metric here just because I measured its thickness to be about 8.5 millimeters. I'm going to start in the lower left. The material, I believe it to be HDPE. I have a XL. Okay. So we'll say okay. So here we go. So the way I'm going to design this, let's see. I think if we start with the size we want okay so we said we wanted this to be 40 millimeters and the height to be oh it was already there 120 so we will say apply so here we have this piece but we also want Kind of give us that little um, piece out the front. So let's come up here, come over about there, there, and there. And then we'll say, oh, we'll connect it here. Okay, so now if we select both of these. We can union them. So now we have one bigger piece. So the next thing we want to do is draw another square. So let's make this one. We can kind of eyeball this, I think. Uh, to some degree. It's a little too tall, I think. So let's let's say that that slot should be 
That was 110 luck. The width, we know we want this to be 7. Let's make this 100. Actually, I think I liked 110. <laughs> okay, so now we can select these. We can align them in the center of each other. There we go. And now I want to make these look a little nicer, so I'm going to draw a little circles. There. And another one down here. There you go. So now if I select, hold, I'm holding down Command, I'm on a Mac, select them all, make them as one. You know, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's undo that. Doing this on the fly here, as you can tell. Let's make this height um, 90. Because I had forgotten we're going to want to put um, that insert for the washers, too. So we want to make sure we have enough room for that. We can adjust this once we get that in to see what it looks like. Probably should have started with that piece first. but. So select them all again, we'll join them, group them together. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing. And make another square. And we know we want this one to be uh, 26 millimeters. And let's just start at 110 and see what we end up with. OK. Let's draw one of the washers so we can actually see it. So we know the washer is a radius of 13 millimeters. So if that ended up here, that's as far as we would go. OK, so that's good. Let's make another one of those. Kind of cheating a little bit with my design process here. but um, So let's call this 95 and see where we land. It's just about perfect. How about 92? So I'm looking right to just get it to a point where, yeah, that lines up really nice. Okay, so we will select these pieces again. There we go. So now let's, I'm going to copy the whole thing. So we want four of these. So what I'm going to do for each one of them is group them together into one object. And then I think if I go like this, I can sort of align them. Yeah, OK. The one minorly annoying thing about uh, the software, which I wish they had, is a distribute command so that you could evenly distribute shapes. But really, we've got this big area to cut in. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to spread them out a little bit more. Um, I'm going to use a quarter inch bit on this just because it goes a little bit quicker. It seems to work well for the uh, plastic. So I'll align those again. So now we're done drying. So once we're done, we have to go in to find the tool path. So I'm going to select. So the first thing we probably want to do is these guys. So we want to do a contour. We want to pocket. I'm going to be using a quarter inch in end 201 we say okay and I'm going to call this this is for the bolt oops got caps lock on there bolt ok 
Okay, now I'm going to select the washer insert. Again, this is contour, pocket, call this washer. Uh, so depth here, let's call this, um, really we don't need to go much further than two millimeters. We just want kind of an insert there. And then lastly, we'll do the outside contour, outside right. And we will say cut out, use stock bottom. Okay, I probably missed that. So what I like to do once I define everything I think I need, I'm just gonna go through them one more time. So for the bolt, I'm using number 201, quarter inch. Uh, I missed this here, so use stock bottom for that pocket. Okay, and I wanna do that first. Then my washer, I only wanna go down two millimeters, stock top, again the 201, pocket operation. Now the cutout, I want to use stock bottom. I caught it that time, quarter inch, 201. Okay, so now let's look. Uh, MDF is fine, doesn't matter. Okay, so this looks good, but you'll notice that we're cutting all the way through. So that means that if we don't find some means to hold down these center pieces, they're just gonna go flying out of the place. So one fix for that would be, uh, I've done this in the past with just tape. They make double-sided tape that's specific to these applications that you can put underneath. That usually does a pretty good job, but a better way to do it that's a little more secure is what they call these tabs. So tabs, I'll show you here, uh, you could define their width and their height. I usually find that we can get by with something, I don't know why 12 millimeters is, is standard, but for my applications, I found that this is, this is fine. So we say uh, three by three, um, and then we just pick where we want them. So I'm gonna, again, be a little extra cautious here, and I'm gonna put four on each it doesn't really matter where they go. Um, notice I'm not being too specific about this. Um, could do one at the top and the bottom if you want. But these are going to leave pieces of plastic that join the piece you're cutting to the piece you're cutting out. So I got 60 of them. I'm going to say OK. So if we say OK again here, now we go to our show simulation, you'll see we have these little guys here. So that'll hold the piece in place, but it does mean we're gonna have to trim that off to get those pieces out when we're done. That, that's good, that's safe. So enough talk, let's cut, save the G-code, and let's go to carbide motion. So when the machine's done, you should end up with something like this. Quite a bit of cleanup we have to do, just a byproduct of cutting uh, plastic or HDPE. But the first thing we have to do is remove the individual clamps from the stock itself. And to do this, I put the entire thing in a vise and then use an X-Acto knife and very carefully cut all the tabs clear. And then once you have the individual clamps out, you have to again just clean up the edges, get rid of all that extra uh, frill and then clean up the tabs on the sides. But when you're done, you should end up with something like this. And I found that these clamps have worked really well. Um, pretty, pretty easy to make, pretty easy to design. And I hope you found this useful. Thanks.